All right, so this is, I brought it down to 6,400 because everybody keeps saying, you know, use 6,400, uh, one to one. So 6,400 C30. I'm gonna reload my regular profile. Probably gonna end up on a different map um, and just see how this how this kind of goes. Now this isn't like hours and hours of tuning. I'm not gonna be doing that. It's just it's too time consuming. Um, so even this took like you know 30 minutes of tinkering to get it to to get it to run, and I haven't even like stress test it. So just wanted to kind of see, but so far. It's pretty much right along the lines of what I expected, so nothing crazy, um, nothing really different from when I run. Oh, damn, he got me. Like anything like uh, what call it? I just reset the lows. Um, whenever I run, you know, seventy or seventy six hundred C thirty four. So people kind of make it seem as if it's this big big deal, this holy grail. I don't think Ryzen, you know. 7,000 and 9,000 are like the 3,200 um, sweet spot from from the original Ryzen Didn't launch where you had to have 3,200. So yeah, that's kind of where I stand on that on that. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm probably get like one or two more kills, cut the recording, and then relaunch. You're gonna see the timer or not the timer, but the it says 7,600 C34, but that's only because I didn't even change the the overlay because I'm probably not going to keep it. I did test this um, in the past and again to tighten the timings you need so much more voltage and it was just a lot more work and the performance ended up being almost identical so I decided to just run you know the higher the higher frequency uh, on all my Ryzen chips so especially with X3D. Now it might make a bigger difference if you don't have an X3D chip probably will repeat if you don't have an x3d chip um it might make more of a difference but x3d you can have like terrible ass ram and still be doing decent like 85 90 percent of the performance is coming from the game staying in the cache and Hostile yeah UAV on a game like cod overhead. i really don't think your ram makes a that big a difference as long as you don't have like some detrimental ram. all right you got me all right i'm gonna cut off here that easy. see how, how this map layout is all right, so this part is I'm back. Oh, well, I'm this is it. actually just it. XMP, no tune timings. Um, so pretty much 70. Actually, it's 8,000 C38. Um, and like I said, TRC is probably crazy on this. I like that. Like over a thousand. Again, nothing tuned. And just to kind of show, it really doesn't make too much of a difference. Now, yeah, I'm dipping a little bit lower here, right but uh, from what I'm seeing, it's probably 10 to 15% difference as far as FPS goes. So, yeah, I'll probably throw on my 7600 one, with some right light here. tuning on it, but uh, I can't get the same them, maps. Now, this is also a different map, so we don't know if that 10 15 um, FPS is being made up from going from Vorkuta to hey, this. Right, I would right, assume right, Vorkuta would be harder to run, so we'll give it so he just we'll give it that versus... Again. I'm going to cut these dudes off. I'm like competing with. Oh, nah, he doesn't want to talk. I got you. I got you. It's open. Go, go, go. All right, there he is. Nope. And funny. Wow. To suck that bad. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So we'll see what the 7600 um, C34 so is. Because again, this is 8000 wow. C30. Just turning on DOCP. Um, I'm not C30, 8000, C38. My bad. All right, I'm gonna cut out from here. Probably do like 15, 20 more seconds of gameplay and then relaunch the game and be a random third map. Um, so yeah, probably uh, well, look, we're getting into the threes. So I really don't think it uh, it matters too much. Your RAM, like I said, um, of course, this is a one two ratio. For the ram as opposed to a one to one so yeah i think if you have a regular non x3d chip that 6400 and all that jazz is probably more accurate and but this isn't again this isn't the old olden days of ryzen where you know you needed 3200 at, at minimum that was the sweet spot i just don't think it's like that anymore um it's kind of wild wild west the fclk is also oh, got him 
The higher load is clutch, man. The LCLK is also at 2,000, so. Oof. Is he laying down? No. Oh, wow. That died from the top. That's about the most Black Ops 6. <laughs> that could happen, because, man. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, that is probably the most Black Ops. All right, so now we're back with the official um, timings that I have with the secondaries and everything else tightened. So let's see. Give a quick restart, refresh. Oh. Wow. I'm pretty sure I blew that up myself. So, more or less the same. I think the lows, now that I've reset it, is about the same. Uh, is this better? I don't know. I would maybe say this is even better. Either way, tuning this, I tuned this a while back, and it was just a lot easier on the system. This is also Vorkuda, so this is the same as the first one. So if it's like 5, 10 FPS difference and much easier to get and achieve and get stable, um, I'm not going to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours for 10 FPS anymore. Maybe back in the day, but now it's more about just getting in the game. So, yeah. Let's up here. Some turret established. Parkour's kind of weird in this. I don't know if it's the 22 health. I feel like it just takes sometimes three shots to kill somebody. Like I might as well go play core. Oh wow, I walk right into that. So yeah, and this is again 7600 C34. So we've done 7600 C34, we've done 8000 C38. So it's just literally XMP. Uh, nothing touched up. Nothing and then we've done 6400 um, C30. So that was a kind of some crazy tune. It was about these timings. Uh, I'm sure if you were to, you know, go max and try to like spend every moment to, uh, tuning every timing to the max it would go on any of these configurations, uh, you get more performance. So uh, you see that? So I'm gonna throw trip mines down. Go. Reversal. All right, uh, get like one or two more. Flip their spawns real quick. Get my teammates mad. Be like, why is this guy behind me? <laughs> it was me. All right, one more. Oh damn it, he got me. Oh, he didn't see me. That's a shame. Isn't it? It's a shame in it. Probably people in here. Got him. You know, there's always good. Oh, that's my team. Spawn in there. So, spawn's got to flip. I saw him. <laughs> I saw him. Ah, life was at your fast. I'm going to try to play around with the XMP. That probably has the most promise. And see if I can get like the TRFC down and some of the other, other time ins while keeping it stable. Wow. That was my issue with the 7800X 3D, though. Um, anything outside of the C, it was like a shoulder shot, he didn't die. But anything over the, um, that normal, anything past the stock would just end up in like nonstop crashing. Can't get through Memtest, can't get through Karu. wasn't uh, the best experience there. And I know they have some really good XP kits now where you can pretty much um, just fire it up and it's like, you know, 6200 or damn, way, way out too far. Wow. All right. So that's it, man. I'm going to cut out from here for the last time. <laughs> and I'll put this all together. If you got any questions, uh, throw it in the comment section. Um, I don't really have a ton of time to dedicate, which is why, like the other thing too, I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to RAM tuning. Um, for those of you that have done it, you know, it's more so trial and error for a couple hours. And yeah, 
it's just uh too time consuming so we're doing that getting in our proof of work got something with the kids <clears throat> and actually wanting to play the game you know that's the other thing so time isn't really like uh on my side when it comes to these things anymore <laughs> all right y'all be easy